All right, welcome to the Robert Show. It's day one at Gartner, and I'm super excited to be with Raj, who's the co-founder and CEO of Professi. Raj, not a new face to the Robert Show. Obviously, we have chatted, and uh, I think this is your second year in a row at Gartner. Yes. Uh, the second year. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Uh, I'm kind of curious to know what brings you to Gartner uh, second year in a row. So Gartner is really, you know, the perfect place for us. We get leaders, yeah, you know, in data space uh, at higher levels, right? Yeah. We get C levels, uh, CDOs, you know, VPs who are looking at the overall problems in an enterprise. Yeah. Across various teams, right? Yeah. Across data platform teams, across. Uh, data analyst teams, line of business teams, and they have the overall view, and yeah. they're looking to solve problems for the entire organization. That's where we'll, you know, that's the sweet spot for prophecy. That's where we're looking to, you know, that's where people are able to look at the value, uh, understand the value. Yeah. Uh, so, so, and we also learn where their minds are at, right? Uh, what is going on in the industry? Where are they moving to? What are the primary problems? that the executives are thinking about. So so this is a great conference for us. Yeah, that's fantastic, exactly. Uh, that's what we've been, you know, obviously listening from the leaders as well. They kind of, you know, the enterprise leaders kind of get the best of the best a year at Gartner and yeah. uh, they obviously have teams like Professis who are kind of, you know, helping them uh, in the long run. I'm kind of also curious to know about um, what has changed from last year to this year and uh, how is Professi solving different data transformation problems, uh, but mm -hmm. other problems as well that you all are focusing on. Yeah, so I think what has changed is we were very focused on the data platform teams, the data engineering teams. Right. Um, this was, you know, the new ETL market, right? You could say that on top of the cloud. So this is data transformation. But what we are seeing is an increasing focus on saying, hey, how much of the work can actually be done by the data analysts, right? So what happens is, let's say you write a requirements document, then you use a desktop data prep tool, then you again, you know, write code on your data platform, you're doing the same work three times, right? Yeah, so there yeah. is this uh, pull of the data analyst teams, the line of business teams, and saying, hey, we want to self-serve, but we want it in a well-governed, well-managed thing. Yeah. So we are seeing that great desire to have the data analyst self-serve on the cloud data platforms, right. and I think that's the direction the market is evolving in. Yeah, no, I think uh, that those are fantastic insights. I'm kind of also curious to know a little about the customers, because I have, yes. you know, obviously over the last one year, the growth that I've seen is unbelievable in terms mm -hmm. of what you all have brought to the table, but also the logos that you all have on your website, right? Uh, so yes. that is huge, congrats on that, but uh, curious to know, you know, what, uh, do you have any examples that Y'all can you can share with our audience in terms of the use cases, anything that has uh, you know has kind of stood out uh, in in the enterprise space. Yeah, I mean there is a lot of use cases. We work with the largest enterprises, yeah. so um, you, you know, and some of these are investors in us. I think J.P. Morgan invested in our last round, this one as well. Yes. HSBC, HSBC invested in this round, so we have like two of the largest banks in the world. Yeah. If you take the Chinese banks it's, out, which are state-owned. Yeah. So these are, you know, two, they are both, uh, you know, uh, using prophecy. Then we have, you know, last year we had Johnson & Johnson come and speak at the conference, talk about how their line of business teams were able to self-serve and get a lot of value you know, remove the duplication, the back and forth between data line of business team and that. We have Amgen, I think, who spoke with us at a conference. Yes. It's another fast growing account. So we have a lot of really large customers, large enterprises, and ac across various sectors, right? Finance, healthcare, some of the largest ones. They're using Prophecy, they're happy, and they're growing very fast. That's fantastic. Uh, thanks for sharing that, uh, Raj. I also quickly wanted to let you know, uh, like, not let you know, but ask you about, you know, obviously, uh, about AI, right? Yeah. Uh, that is the piece uh, which is like the talk of the town, right? Uh, yes. How are you kind of uh, looking at AI and uh, how is Prophecy, you know, kind of implementing the AI piece for a lot of enterprises out there? Yes. So AI is going to fundamentally change data transformation. Yeah. I was going to say transform data transformation, <laughs> but that's just weird. Yeah. So what basically AI has become very successful with coders, mm -hmm. right? The coding co-pilots, and then you have the absolute other end where you have customer success or you know cases like that. Not that much in the middle. Yep. Now, data transformation is a special case of programming. So this is a space where AI is going to do amazingly well, 
it's going to move a lot of data transformation from the data platform teams to the line of business teams. They're going to be able to do a lot more of their work themselves. Yeah. Of course, you want the data platform team to have the governance, the standards, the uh, you know, make sure that manage cost, all of that. But at the same time, a lot more of the transformation is going to move to line of business. The other thing is, you know, it's much easier for people to just talk and say, hey, find me the right data set. Right. Right. So what's going to, the other change in the industry is you had the first set of things where you had AI augmented uh, startups or companies where everybody put an AI button on the top right. It's like, okay, that's fine, but what about the AI native companies? AI native companies have this pattern, right, where you say, I'm going to get 80% of the way with generative AI, mm. and then I'm going to give you an interface to go from 80% to 100%. Nice. It is called generate and refine, right? So AI, so for example, if I put an image on chat GPT, I get an image, it's 80% there, I give five more prompts, I get 90%, 90%. there. How do I go to 100%? There is no path. Exactly. Right? So, but the, the companies which are being successful, they are like, I'm going to start with generative AI and then give you a canvas to get to 100%. Hmm. And I think our space is set for that, so it's, it's, it's something that we are going to move toward as well. So you're going to see some exciting stuff come in June in, in the conference, but I, I think this space will transform. A lot of the data transformation is going to move to conversation. That's very exciting and uh, can't wait for that. Uh, when you talk about you know newer announcements coming in, I also think about you know the funding round that you all recently had, which is yes. great. Congrats on that. Uh, Thank you so much. Your team have you know obviously uh, seen that massive growth and we're excited about that as well. I'm kind of also curious to know what is the what is the next step with you know the new funding? Where are you planning to? Grow more, which which uh, you know, uh, which uh, space like. No, I, I think we are. So I look. So we got a Series B, and then we got an inbound interest and a preemptive. We are still calling it B1 because <laughs> we have not met our internal metrics for Series C, yeah. and we want our Series C to be massive. Uh, but uh, you know, uh, this funding is like we are building the product for ETL developers, the data engineers, the data platform teams. Now we have the product for data analysts, line of business teams, so we are looking to say how can all data users use it. Yep. So this is an entirely new line of business buyer and customer, so we are moving toward that. There is tremendous amount of AI development coming and that's another reason why the funding came in, is like AI is going to transform the space and we wanted to be able to invest a lot into AI. So, so we, we are looking to become a leader, in a few months you'll see that. So, so some exciting stuff coming there, but that's where it's going to go, right? It's going to go to expand to the second team, to expand into nice. AI, and to scale our sales and go to market team and to support customers better. I'm excited. Next few months are going to be definitely super interesting. We are keeping a close eye on Professi and yes. the great things that you all are doing in this space. So thanks for that, Raju. One last question. If people want to, you know, obviously learn more about the things of what Professi is doing, which is the best place if they want to reach out to you, where can they do that? I know you all share a lot of white papers, research papers. Yes. Uh, you all have like a lot of blogs and uh, you all have continuous web as well for, uh, yes. to educate the enterprise leaders of there as well. Yes, definitely. Uh, look, there's the website, there's the content, you know, come to our conferences. Yeah. Definitely here, we are going to be at the Databricks conference, yes. we are going to be at Gartner London. So come in, but the other thing I would say is, just come try the product, right? So get into one of the interactive sessions, into a webinar or into an interactive session where you can try and build something. Yeah. You can go to our website, log in and for free, get uh, usage, you know, you can say if I want to try the product, just go and try the product, it's free. We even give our own compute, so. Wow, that's you know, awesome. Yeah. That's, that's good for, you know, obviously the leaders out there, they obviously yeah. uh, sometimes want to give it a shot and, you know, obviously get there. So that's awesome. Uh, one last question for you, if they want to reach out to you, is LinkedIn a best place? Oh yeah, can they reach, out? reach out to me on LinkedIn, you send an invite, I'll get right back to you. If you have a question, ask me. You know, I'm pretty accessible, yes. so so no 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 problem at all. Awesome, this is great. Uh, congrats once again on all the growth, uh, Raj. Always such a pleasure chatting with you. Yes, we'll keep the conversation going, but looking forward to obviously uh, we'll keep following Professi and we'll keep uh, our audience updated. Thank that you. That sounds great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.